Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry I've been a bit vacant over the last couple of weeks. I've been trying to finalize this Ableton course, which I finally managed to finish. So it's ready for you guys to go and download it at beginnerabletonlessons.com. This course took me so long to finish. I started off just thinking it was gonna be like 10, like 10 videos to get it done. And I'd just be able to teach you guys how to make dance music. And I started to make it and I realized I had so much information I wanted to give you guys. There was even points where I was like, oh, it's just too much. I can't teach these guys everything they need to know. And I decided to just power through and teach you every little detail you need to know to make amazing dance music. It ended up coming to 75 lessons and over 19 hours of footage. I teach you guys everything I know. I just couldn't believe how much information there was to teach you. And at no point did I want to make a course that you guys were watching and had to go away to research what I was talking about to come back. You see, in this course, I've taught you everything that's taken me four and a half, five years to learn. And I've learned it from reading books, from going on courses, to downloading courses online, to watching hundreds and hundreds of hours of YouTube, not to mention the thousands of hours I've spent just sat in front of Ableton trying to figure stuff out. And I've made the course that I would have killed for when I started making dance music because I teach you everything you need to know so you don't have to be making mistakes from the beginning of making dance music. You will understand everything, how to use all the plugins, how to get good techniques in place, how to speed up your workflow, how to make sure that your music sounds professional. I mean, the list goes on and on. And at the end of this video, I'm actually going to show you, I'm going to run you through every single lesson you get when you download the course. Basically guys, I could talk about this course for hours and I've been itching to get it to you guys. But in a nutshell, it came to so many lessons, I ended up breaking the course down into three sections. So you can download these sections separately if you want. There's a beginner course, which is perfect for anybody out there who has never made dance music before and has never used Ableton before. I can teach you everything you need to know. But it's not just good for people who have never used it. It's for general beginners who are maybe in their first year of making dance music on Ableton and don't know how to use the program to its fullest. I show you what every button does, what every single, everything you see on the screen, what it does. I'll run you through every single plugin on the program and how to use it and how they work and how you can use them to affect your music. I explain compressors in detail, EQs in detail, every single fundamental thing is taught. I teach you about return tracks, grouping, I mean the list goes on. And when you finish my beginner course you'll have an extremely thorough basis to build all your other music on. You'll have a fantastic foundation to make any dance music you want or any music you want in general. It doesn't even have to be dance music. Then in my intermediate course, I go into more detail about how you can use these plugins to make really awesome tracks. And I teach you the basics of music theory. I teach you all about creating amazing beats, how to write chords, how to write melodies, how to write bass lines, how to take your music from sounding basic to sounding really professional. I teach you some awesome techniques to make your tracks just sound expensive and awesome, basically. So intermediate is perfect for people who understand how to use uh, music software, but they maybe don't know how to make their music sound really good. And that is the thing that will help you do that. And finally, I've got a mixing and mastering course. Some of you guys might not even know what mastering is. So basically mastering is what you would do to take your track from sounding uh, quite quiet to sounding really loud and professional. If you ever finish making a track and then you just export it and then listen to it compared to like a Skrillex song or one of your favorite artists, it will sound so quiet because it hasn't been mastered properly. Mastering is the art of taking a track that's quite quiet and making it sound really loud and punchy without completely destroying the song. 
Um, it's a complicated thing, and if you guys are beginners, it's not going to make any sense to you at all. But in my final section of the course, I teach you how to mix and master. And I teach you all the awesome techniques I use to make songs sound just as loud as the professionals. In the videos, I actually show you me making one of my tracks as loud and as punchy as tracks like Marshmallow or Yellow Claw or any of these other top professionals. I make a track just as loud and just as punchy right in front of you. I mean, God, I could talk for hours about this course because I've been spending so much time doing it, but it is absolutely awesome. And no matter where you are on the music making spectrum, there's something in this course for everybody. So basically guys, I made this course to save you time and frustration. If you're anything like me, when you first start making dance music, you will have the sounds in your head that you want to make. You just won't have the knowledge to make the songs you want. And it's frustrating having all these creative ideas and different song ideas, but just not having the knowledge to actually just make them. You see, I honestly believe that anybody can pretty much make a living from making dance music if they want to. You just need three things. You need knowledge, you need experience, and you need determination. If you want to become a professional DJ and a professional producer, it's gonna be one of those three things that hold you back, okay? Now, unfortunately, I can't give you experience and I can't give you determination. But what I can give you is heaps of knowledge. And that's the main thing you're gonna need. When you finish my course, you're gonna know everything you need to know to make a really professional sounding track. All you need to do then is just put some time in to just keep making music and getting better at it until you've produced enough songs to create your own sound and your own style. And once you can produce really professional sounding tracks time and time again, it won't be long at all before you've got a following. You might even get signed to a record label. You just need to keep going. And that's kind of where I am now. I've got all the knowledge I need. I just need to keep producing music until I've got a following. And once I've got a following, hopefully I can get signed. And I'll be on that journey with you guys. So really, that's all I've kind of done at this point. I've created a course so in my YouTube channel, I can continue to teach you guys cool things. But all the fundamental stuff is on my website at beginnerabletonlessons.com. So without me going on and on, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to take a few minutes to show you exactly what you will get when you download my Ableton course. Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you exactly what you get when you download my beginner Ableton course. There's over 75 videos in total, it comes to over 19 hours of footage, so even this alone could take a while, so I'm going to kind of skim through it as quickly as I can. So when you get it, you're going to get a screen that looks a bit like this, and you'll see there's beginner Ableton course, intermediate Ableton course, mixing and mastering, and if you want, you can add my DJ course onto the package as well. So you can open up drop downs like this, and you'll see all the lessons within each one one in beginner there's over there's 34 lessons it comes to about seven hours of footage where I teach you everything you need to know from audio versus MIDI to exactly how Ableton works all the buttons arrangement view session view I teach about quantize and timing this might not make any sense to you but uh, it's all explained on the video looping and all the different areas of looping your track automation how that works draw mode, uh, MIDI mode, how to map things to Ableton so you can use other devices to control Ableton, lane controls, all the basic stuff like volume, panning, what it all means, how it works, audio clips and all the changes you can make just within the audio clips to affect your music and all the changes you can make in MIDI clips to affect your music. I explain categories on the left hand side and how to use them properly. I teach you all about the spectrum and EQ, what they do, when you'd use EQ, how EQs work, how the plugins work. I teach you all about compressors properly so you can finally understand exactly what a compressor does, what different types of compressors are, from glue compressors to limiters and when you use them all. I teach you about multiband dynamics, uh, reverb effects and how you would use reverb on a mix to make it sound good filters and auto filters in Ableton, delays and all the different delay plugins you can use to add delay effects and how to use them properly. I teach you exactly what a gate is and when you'd use a gate in music to add uh, really interesting effects to your music and use it to help you speed up your workflow. I show you all about panning and width. 
I give you lessons on different types of distortion and different kinds of ways you can affect the sounds you're making from saturated to overdrive and all the different distortion plugins in Ableton. I teach you all about the Ableton shortcuts. I show you how flangers and phasers, how they actually work and how you can use it to create really interesting effects as well as the Redux or Bit Crusher tool in Ableton. I show you some of my favorite plugins like the LFO follower and the envelope follower. Then I teach you about how you can affect your MIDI clips as well with arpeggiators, chords, randomized tools as well to make your music sound more random. I show you how vocoders work, what they do to sounds, when you can use them, how you can use them away from vocals as well to create really interesting effects. I give you your first lesson in wavetable and synthesizers with the new wavetable uh, plugin in Ableton. And by the way, it's worth mentioning, in this pro program I use Ableton 10, but 98% of it will apply to Ableton 9 and earlier versions as well. I show you all the difference between simplers and samplers, when you'd use them, and the powerful effects you can get from them. I teach you how to save presets. I show you all about the benefits of grouping tracks together. And I teach you all about what return tracks are and how you can get return tracks to give you really cool effects. So that's just in my beginner course. Then in my intermediate course, I teach you all about samples and where I get all my samples from. I can teach you how to organize your project so it makes it really easy for you to speed up your workflow and get things done quickly. Creating templates so every time you start a song you've got a template ready to go so you can make music quickly. I teach you the basics of music theory and how you can steal chords from certain songs to add new elements to your tracks. I help you in creating beats, bass lines, writing melodies, and I show you some cool plugins that can help you do this if you're a complete beginner like Odyssey and Captain Plugins, and I show you how to use those. I teach you how to layer sounds. I teach you how to add ghost kicks and side chaining lanes onto your projects to help you speed up your side chaining and how to make your side chaining sound more professional. I show you some really cool effects to add groove to your song. So instead of your song sounding really robotic, I can teach you how to add groove and swing in clever ways to make your music sound much more interesting. That's one of my favorite videos there. I teach you some reverse swell effects that can add a really professional and expensive feel to your music. Um, something that's become really popular in dance music is sampling vocals. I've got a whole video on sampling vocals, how to do it well, how to make your music sound awesome by sampling vocals properly. I've got different tips on bass. Um, I can show you how to turn loops into tracks. This is something so many producers struggle with. Uh, is coming up with little ideas and little loops that sound awesome, but they just don't know how to turn those into full tracks. Well, I've got a full video teaching you how to do that. Something I struggled with at the beginning was I just didn't know what key to write my music in because I didn't really come from a musical background. So in this video here I teach you all about what key you should write your music in and the, th the thoughts you should have when it comes to writing in certain keys. I have a video all about tremolo and vibrato and how you can add that to any sound. I've got a whole video on using white noise as well so you can add white noise to affect um, and add good tension in your music as well as a video on adding width to your music, um, how to add uh, amazing builds and drops to your sounds. Finally, I have a video on how to create space in your mix using reverb effectively. And I deconstruct one of my own tracks where I'll show you how I use all the effects up to this point in my own music making production. So all those lessons there are just in the intermediate section. So they're really cool for helping people who've already got a good understanding of Ableton take their music to that next level and how to be inspired by other people's music and how to make your music sound like other people's music as well. Finally, I've got a mixing and mastering course, which I've separated here, but they come together. And in this course, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make your music sound really loud and punchy like all the professional music. So I've got videos here about how to organize your file, how to A, B your mix compared to other people's uh, music and different plugins I use to help me do that. I teach you about mixing around your kick. I have a video showing you how you can EQ any sound out there. So once you've watched that video, you'll know how to EQ any sound you like. And I kind of dispel some myths about EQing as well. 
I show you some really cool multi-band EQ sidechain techniques, which I've discovered you can do through Ableton, which is awesome for just automatically moving frequencies out of each other's way. I show you how you can take your drum sound to that next level, make your drum sound absolutely awesome. Um, I have uh, show you how to put music into mono, the sub bass into mono, and I explain why that's really important. Show you how to add more width to your music, how to keep your sound good even if you add width, how to make sure it sounds great in mono, and I show you some other tracks uh, that I feel do this well and some of the tracks that don't do it as well. I have a whole video on just mixing your sub bass, so just your sub frequencies sound really cool, because that's usually the driving force of any dance song. Um, I show you how to simplify your mix, and finally I show you how to do a final mix down, all the plugins I use, and how to export it for a master. And then finally in my mastering course, I tell you exactly what a master is. I show you an amazing Ableton uh, mastering chain that I've created myself uh, to add amazing effects to your songs. And I'll tell you when I'd use each of these plugins and how to use them. I've then got a video where I actually do a live master in front of you and I show you how I use all these Ableton plugins to make a song so much louder, so much punchier, and so much more professional sounding. And finally, I show you the master chain I use. So throughout the whole course, I'm basically using Ableton plugins and nothing else because I didn't want to create a course where I had to tell you guys to go out and buy thousands and pounds worth of plugins when you can do it all with the plugins inside the box. I've actually created a new love for the Ableton plugins myself from just using them on this course. But I did want to show you all the plugins I use on my master chains when I'm not using Ableton plugins. Um, so there's a video at the end showing you all the different plugins I use when I'm doing mastering away from Ableton plugins. So there you go guys. As you can see, the course is huge. It's extensive. I've taught you everything I know about making dance music. I haven't held back on anything. So I'm really excited to hear some of your feedback about this course. I'd have killed to have this course when I first started making dance music. So I know you guys are going to love it. And for the first two months, I've got a special offer running because I'm really interested in hearing your feedback. So go and check out beginnerabletonlessons.com now and get your course and let me know what you think about it. Finally, I just wanted to say, now I finally finished that course, I'm gonna be back on YouTube big time, making loads more videos for you guys. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel, make sure you like this video, and make sure you leave some feedback, because I just wanna see if you guys are excited as I am about this. So um, yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll be seeing you guys very soon. See you next time. Ciao.